Hello my spooky friends, welcome back to the channel and welcome to a new mini series that I'm doing in honor of Halloween. So each week I'm going to tell a ghost story either from my home province of Newfoundland or we have one episode where I'm going to be concentrating on stories from Alberta, which is where I currently live. And I wanted to make another note as well. I have told some of these stories on the channel before, way back two years ago. It was one of my very, very first videos and I thought I would retell them as my <laughs> filming has gotten a little bit better and I'm a little bit more confident with storytelling. So if you want to go back and check out that video, you can, but I think these ones are going to be a little bit better quality. So Newfoundland, way back in the 1900s, was a British colony, and although it did see a lot of very bloody battle um, during the time of about the 1820s, it was a period of peace, and there were regiments and battle stations still on the province to make sure that the colony was protected for the British Crown. So one of those very well-known battle points is up on Signal Hill in St. John's, and life on the island back then could be a little bit hard because of the weather and just isolation away from the soldiers' families. So both the soldiers and the civilians that helped them up on Signal Hill tried to do their day-to-day -day business and keep things peaceful and cordial. So one day, a young soldier walked into one of the barracks and noticed an infraction. So in the corner, there was a man sat with his back to him and he was loading a gun. And during that time, of course, working with gunpowder, that was a big no-no. So he called out to the young man and he ignored him. He continued to load his gun. So he walked over and tapped him on the shoulder. And when the young man turned around, he had a bullet wound in his forehead. And even more so than that, the other soldier was shocked to see that he was actually the ghost of the young Anson who he witnessed die just about a month before. And the ghost eventually just faded away. So this is a very, very tragic story that started out innocently enough with a game of cards. So like I said, life on the island could be very rough and it was very isolated. So a lot of the times the soldiers especially would engage in friendly games of cards, which sometimes included gambling. So on this particular day, we have a young 17 year old ensign who was playing a game of cards with an older officer and he kept losing back to back and the officer had already stripped him of a month's wages. So down to his last couple of shillings, he made that final bet and of course the officer won and the young ensign was both embarrassed but also irate and actually grabbed the other officer and accused him of cheating. So as you can imagine, this didn't go over very well and the older officer challenged the young man to a duel, which would take place the next day. So dueling was very popular and very common amongst that time, especially between soldiers in the British military. It's how they settled grievances. And, but one unwritten rule was that you didn't have to kill the other person. You could simply wound them and that was enough to regain your honor. So the next day, the young ensign, like I said, just 17 years old, went out to face the older seasoned officer. And when they turned and shot, the officer had hit the young man right between the eyes with his pistol. And of course he died instantly. So the other soldiers that were standing around knew that the officer had no intention of just wounding the young man. He wanted him dead to restore his honor. So shortly after this tragedy, the officer began seeing the ghost of the young Anson just about everywhere he went and it slowly drove him mad. So that officer eventually completely disappeared from the record books. No one knew what came of him uh, after the incident where he shot the young Ensign. And you can say that it was probably a guilty conscience that was making him see the apparition. But also passers-by on Signal Hill and in other areas around where that shooting happened or possibly where the ensign was buried have seen the apparition of a soldier with a gory bullet wound in his head. So it makes you think, was he actually seeing the ghost of the young ensign or was it a guilty conscience? I guess we'll never know, but to this day, there are still sightings of that young soldier. And if the story wasn't tragic enough, dueling 
was outlawed by the British military about three months after the young Anson died. So he goes down in the history books of being the last person to die by duel. And that happened up on Signal Hill in St. John's. So there you go. That is the story of the last duel that took place up on Signal Hill in St. John's, Newfoundland in around 1823. I hope you guys enjoyed the story and sweet dreams. Bye.